The name's Max Silvers, private eye and tech junkie. I, uh, never thought I'd be cracking a case 27 years in the future. But here we are, life's full of surprises, ain't it? It all started in my dingy office back in 23. Neon signs flickering outside, casting shadows on stacks of forgotten cases. A dame walks in, all chrome and neon, says she's from 2050. Needed my help to understand her own time, I laughed. Who was I to argue with a time traveler? This case was going to be one for the books. Then everything went black. I woke up in a world I barely recognized, streets pulsing with information, buildings that seemed to breathe. Welcome to 2050, kid. The air's thick with data, visible streams of ones and zeros. Folks walking around with tech I can't even begin to understand. First stop, the Gene Clinic. Bright, sterile, like something out of a sci-fi flick. But this ain't no movie set. Folks getting designer babies like they're picking out ties. CRISPR tech's gone wild, making humans, well, more than human. I watch a couple scroll through genetic options for their kid. Blue eyes, check. Genius level IQ, check. Disease resistance, double check. It's a brave new world, all right, but I can't help wondering if we've gone too far playing God with a DNA sequence. Next up, the spaceport. A massive structure reaching up into the clouds like a modern Tower of Babel. Self-guided boosters taken off for Mars like it's a Sunday drive. Red Planet's the new frontier and everyone wants a piece. I watch a family board a shuttle, luggage in tow. Two weeks on Mars, honey, the father says. Just another vacation in 2050. The implications are staggering. Humanity no longer bound to one planet, but at what cost? Downtown's crawling with AI agents, not the Secret Service kind, mind you. These are digital entities, doing everything from making coffee to running corporations. I step into a cafe, order a Joe from a holographic barista. Perfect brew, no small talk. Efficiency at its finest, but where's the human touch? On the street, I see people talking to thin air. Neural implants, I'm told. Direct AI interface. The line between human and machine blurring by the second. Blockchain's the backbone of it all. Every transaction, every decision, all locked up tight in the digital ledger. Trust's gone digital and there's no going back. I pass by a voting center, no booths, no paper ballots. Just people connecting to the blockchain, their votes secure and immutable. It's a level of transparency I never thought possible. As night falls, the city comes alive with a different kind of energy. Holographic advertisements dance in the air, promising everything from immortality to instant enlightenment. I find myself in a park, a rare patch of green in this chrome and neon jungle. But even here, technology reigns. Trees with glowing leaves engineered to produce more oxygen. Flowers that change color based on air quality. Wait, nature, but not as we know it. But the real kicker, that came when I saw a kid, couldn't be more than 10, interfacing with an AI like it was part of her. That's when it hit me. These AIs, they weren't just tools anymore, they were extensions of us, partners. Maybe even part of what it means to be human now. I watch as the kid solves complex equations, designs a house and composes a symphony, all with a few thought commands to her AI. It's beautiful in a way. Humanity and technology dancing a duet. But I can't shake the feeling that we're losing something in the process. As I felt myself being pulled back to good old 2023, I couldn't help but wonder, are we ready for this brave new world? Or is it already here, waiting for us to catch up? Back in my office, the dame long gone, I sit in the dark, nursing a drink. The future's coming, whether we like it or not. Gene-edited kids, Mars vacations, AI partners, it's all on the horizon. The question is, will we rise to meet it or get lost in the shuffle? 
One thing's for sure, the world of 2050 ain't for the faint of heart. But then again, neither is being a private eye in 2023. As I close the case file on 2050, I can't help but feel like I'm closing a chapter on humanity as we know it. Here's hoping we don't lose ourselves in the pages of progress. This is Max Silvers signing off. The future's calling, and it ain't gonna investigate itself.